Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Allison. And I'm Connor. And we are sitting in our bedroom of our new house. If you saw our house tour, we bought a house video. Um, this was bedroom two. It's the bedroom that's in the front of the house, um, close to the road, it has a nice view, and we can see the sunrise every morning, and it's lovely. Yeah, in that video we said like it was loud, and it is kind of loud. But yeah, that bedroom, yeah. that's the one. So this is the one that we, we ended up picking. Um, you are 37 weeks pregnant now. Yes, I am with our little boy. Um, so it's kind of exciting to think about that when this video is out, he'll probably be out. So. Yes, and there are some clips of this video in the beginning where... I think most of them. Flat belly, yeah, yeah, most of them. Um, it's taken about six months since we bought the place. She was pregnant when we bought the place in July. Mm -hmm and it's now February, so whatever. It's been a little bit. It's been, it's been a while <laughs> to get this bedroom up to the level we wanted to get it. Yes. We are gonna take you through um, from ground zero, basically that uh, tour video, that house tour video when we first saw it, we'll take you from there all the way to what it is now. Basically a compilation of the past six, seven months of all these different clips that we shoved together and put into one video. So hope you guys enjoy it. Welcome to the work zone. We tore up all the floor and we're down to the subfloor, but it's a beautiful subfloor. It's like 120 years old. And um, so we're gonna just paint it and it's gonna be so pretty. But since we took out the flooring, the, um, the baseboard here is too high. So we have this gap here that we need to um, lessen. So what we're doing is we're working on taking off the baseboard and we're gonna lower it um, just by however much we can, or as much as we can, I should say. And then we can put um, a piece of cord around, around the whole thing. Um, if we did cord around now, it would fall in. <laughs> they don't make cord around that's that big. Um, so that's why we have to lower it. Looking forward to this step because that means then we can get to painting the floor and the walls. I mean, we did move down most of these baseboards. Um, this one is not quite as moved down. This gap is actually not bad. It feels like we're getting somewhere in this room. It's been a while. It's been probably a week since I uh, last sat here and talked about anything. After painting the baseboard and the quarter rounds, we wanted to tackle the floor, and it actually turned out to be a little bit of a bigger challenge than we thought. We used an epoxy-based floor paint by Benjamin Moore. It's the same paint that I used um, on my Bernat antique booth floor. Um, and if it you just, haven't seen that video, check it out. Yeah, we'll link it. Yeah, we'll link it. It just it didn't cover well. You would think that a floor paint would be like. Yeah, because it's a thicker and right. Because like, it's epoxy based, so it's not just a latex paint. I'm more of a uh, whatever, like because the rug was covering. We don't need to prime or bin. Let's just paint the perimeter a couple times. We had kind of a disagreement here because I was like, if we're painting the floor, we're painting the floor. Right. I'm not gonna paint the perimeter of the floor or do only like one coat on the middle. If it's gonna be a white floor. It should be a white floor. You even make, if you make me better, honey. Thank <laughs> even you. if you take the rug up, <laughs> yeah, it should still be white. We ended up doing that, and uh, yeah, I mean, it turned out great, and we're happy with it. These are like this off white right now, and I don't want that at all. I want white, crisp, fresh. So we're gonna replace all these, and then I got also uh, white outlet covers to put over. better. Yeah. So question for you, have you ever seen a fan 
that small. I just think it's so ridiculous, it's laughable. I think it's short because they didn't want to hit the ceiling. But like, why wouldn't you just put it in the middle? I don't know, I'm not understanding it. The point of a ceiling fan is the blades are long, right? So it moves the air around, so this is like, it's like nothing. It's hilarious, but anyway. Today, we are hoping to move the fan to the middle, and then we bought a new fan with larger blades so it actually moves the air around. So I'm really looking forward to it because this thing's a joke. forever I don't know I mean I do like to rearrange rooms but that's pretty much the best wall for it that means that our bureau will go here I just feel like I'm gonna want maybe a lamp or something on top so anyway um painting today I picked up the color pale oak by Benjamin Moore it's um it's a super light off-white it's an OC color but it's a gorgeous color um, I've used it on only a piece of furniture I've never used it on a wall before I've heard that it looks different in different lighting so I'm excited about that too all right so we just had to pause this video right here because this paint color looks exactly the same as the wall paint this pale oak that you know you've used before and and trust us it does come out different it does yes. look different but while we're painting it it looks exactly the same so you're probably like wait where did they even paint like what yeah as i started painting i was so upset i was like it's the same color <laughs> but honestly the walls were so bad so any type of paint that we would put on the walls even though even if it was the, the exact, exact same color would look better all right back to the video We finished painting the room and I love this color. It's just this like gray, but it's got like this coffee-ness to it. I don't know, but it's so pretty. Um, when I was first picking out this color, um, I knew that we were getting this headboard, so I wanted to have this headboard in first. And I put um, swatches up next to it and the, the pale oak really goes well with this headboard. I love this headboard too. I love the curves of it and the tufting. This room is about to get real small real quick. Um, even just this headboard on this wall is like, okay, we have no room in here. <laughs> at night on a Saturday night we were just sitting watching TV and I'm sick of not having a lamp so this is why this project is happening so this is what I'm using for our nightstands I got this at Brimfield and mine is very similar they're both wooden crates that are like super cool these two will be mounted on the wall I actually saw this did I see it on Pinterest or in a magazine or something I just think it's so cool and adds like a nice element. I like, you know, mixing elements of old and new and all that. Then these will be our lamps. So these will go above. They'll be mounted. They are sconces and they are plug-in. So um, we didn't want to hardwire or anything. So we'll plug them in. Light bulb, all that. We've been living here for what, a week? A week? A week with no lamp. And I hate that. So here we go. These are the hinges on the bedroom door. These, these are the hinges on the bedroom door. <laughs> bedroom door freaking hinges, F on the top. 
these are the hinges on the bedroom door. We are going to take these off and paint them instead of getting new ones. Uh, save a little bit of money and we know that they fit well because they're original. Our bedroom reveal. So we are basically done here um, and I'm so excited to show you guys all the elements here. Also I'm 37 weeks pregnant so if I start to get out of breath, cut me some slack, that's why. So all the elements just came together over time. We have the basic things when we moved in but I've since gathered and now it's finally complete. That's how a real room goes, in my opinion. My style tends to be collected things. It's everything that I like and it ends up working together. This room feels very soothing to me, very calming. It has a cozy cottage feel with um, a bit of like a mid-century undertone to it. The nightstands look very cottagey. The bed looks very kind of mid-century, maybe a little bit like formal with the um the upholstered headboard and then the lights are kind of farmhouse so i had two prints above the bread side by side but they just did not look centered because of the slant in the ceiling and it just looked off center even though it wasn't so i asked you guys on instagram if um you had any suggestions and somebody said to do a large scale print and I ended up finding one that was perfect, pulled in all the colors, and it works. So thank you. <laughs> now to the other side of the room. It's not a very big room. And our bed takes up like the whole thing, but we need a king bed because we're very tall people. <laughs> so I got this really cool, it's metal, but it's olive color, um, which like goes with the pillow. Um, I got this, I think, at Home Goods. It's so awesome. I can switch out. The decor on top, you know, a little shelving. And then down here, I just styled items that I love. That collected feel, it's, you know, this is a little cottagey, this is a little cottagey, um, and then these are from our um, pregnancy announcement, which we have a little picture here of us wearing the hats. So just, you know, things in your room should be things that you love to look at. The last little nook, niche, whatever you wanna call it, in our, bedroom is this area. So this is our dresser. It has a good amount of storage. Um, I got this at an estate sale. It's kind of worn, it's kind of found, but it's got that mid-century feel and I just think it's a lovely addition to the bedroom. I am like the mirror queen. I think you can't have enough mirrors. I'm just, I love mirrors. Not because I love to like look at myself. I just like them. I just, I don't know. I think they're all unique. And I love how this has like the little dings in it and it adds light to a space as well because it reflects light. So you almost get like double the amount of light, which light is my other favorite thing. So anyway, that's kind of the roundup of our bedroom. We love it. It's calming, soothing, it all works together. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. Um, the next video to come out will be the other bedroom, bedroom one, which is the baby room, the only the only other room we have. Yes. Um, but thank you guys so much for your patience. I know a lot of you have been really eager to see what we've been doing with the place, and we do not go back on our promises. We will be uploading videos, but it just takes a little bit because it's not our full-time job. Right. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Here you are. Do I start off every one clapping? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I, think I, I feel like I do. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway. This is the longest screw I've ever freaking seen. Really? Holy crap. Unbelievable. Have you ever seen a screw that big to hold on a hinge?